look here at the 30, 60, 90 triangle and how they relate to the unit circle. Look at this uh, diagram here up top here. The red angle is the 30 degree angle and the blue angle is the 60 degree angle. And we know that for a 30, 60, 90, for the unit circle we want to make the hypotenuse 1. That means that the short leg here will be 1 over 2, and the long leg will be root 3 over 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide this into the diagram here. And of course the red angle is 30 degrees, so it lines up with the 30 degree angle. And what you notice is here, is that this length here, is root 3 over 2 and that corresponds to the x value which is root 3 over 2 and this value here going upwards is the length of that leg of the triangle and that's the y value going upwards so hence the coordinate here is root 3 over 2 comma 1 half we now move this triangle away. And bring in this triangle here. Now again, we know that the 30 degree angle is here now. And the 60 degree angle is here. We know the hypotenuse is 1. Short leg here is going to be 1 half. And the long leg is going to be root 3 over 2. And if we slide this one into the diagram here, it lines up with the 60 degree angle. And sure enough, the length of x along here is 1 half, which will correspond to the x value of 1 half. And the length of the y value up here, the height of this triangle, is root 3 over 2, which corresponds to root 3 over 2. If we were now to look at the 30, 60, 90 triangle in other areas, say over here, let's just draw this triangle here. There's a 30, 60, 90 triangle coming down there. Of course, we know that the small angle, 30 degree angle, is up there and the 60 degree angles here. Well, we know that this line here is a half, but in this case it's going to be negative a half, and hence the x value being negative a half. So what it is is the 30, 60, 90 triangle flipped over, the x value will be negative, and going up the other way, the y value is still going to be root 3 over 2 and positive because it's going up a positive direction, hence the y value is root 3 over 2. And of course we get these triangles all over the place. The one triangle we haven't talked about is the 45-45-90 triangle. And we did talk about it in class. Hypotenuse 1, and this is going to be root 2 over 2. And root 2 over 2 is going to be a bit messy, I can see that. And as they're both left and down, they're both negative, hence you get negative root 2 over 2, negative root 2 over 2 for 225 degrees. So that is the unit circle. So how does the unit circle help us find different things? Well, if we wanted to find the sine of 60 degrees, sine's a ratio of two sides of a triangle, we go to 60 degrees here, and the sine is going to be the y value, so it's root 3 over 2. If we want to find the cos of 225 degrees, we go to 225, and we find the x value at 225, negative root 2 over 2. So what we've done here is to find that the, the y, the sine, is the y value and the x cos is the x value. So we want to find now tan, say tan.
10 of 300 degrees. A little more complicated, but 10 is going to be the y value divided by the x value. So we go to 300 degrees, which is here, and the y value is that. So we get negative root 3 over 2 divided by the x value 1 over 2. And if we divide by a fraction, we get negative root 3 over 2 multiplied by the reciprocal 2 over 1. Well, the 2's cancel out. And we get half the answer, negative root 3. There is a funny one we can look at here. Let's find out the tan of, say, 330 degrees. And we know that tan is y over x, the y value divided by the x value. So we go to 330, and we get negative 1 half as the y value. That's that one divided by the x value, root 3 over 2. So we get negative 1 over 2 times 2 over root 3, because we flip the fraction and multiply. Those 2's will cancel out. We get this negative 1 over root 3. And if you remember back to your radical days, we get rid of the radical on the bottom, by multiplying by root 3 over root 3, and that gives us negative root 3 over 3. Standard answer. So one of the things that is quite interesting about this, we look at sine of 60 degrees. Which is here, sine of 60 degrees is root 3 over 2. And if we come across here horizontally, we get another y value equals root 3 over 2. And that is sine 120. So they're equal. And what you'll find the rule is, it's a common rule here that we'll, we can put into place, that sine x degrees equals sine the complement 180 minus x. So any time these numbers add up to 180, their sine values will be equal. So 60 and 120 add up to 180, therefore their signs are equal. 30 and 150 add up to 180, therefore their signs will be equal. Same with 45 and 135. So, of course, an example would be sine of 2 degrees would equal sine 178 degrees because the two numbers add up to 180. Now, you won't find them on the unit circle because they're not nice answers. They're de big decimals. Well, does the same thing work for cos? Let's have a look. So, we'll look at cos of 60. So the cos of 60 is 1 half. Let's go across to 120, and we've got negative 1 half. So what we could say is that cos 60 equals negative cos 120 degrees. And the general rule is that cos x equals negative cos 180 minus x. So when they are reciprocals like that. They are negative one of the other.